We treat women with disrespect. Where we call them out their name. You're not hitting them, but you're calling out their name. That's a form of violence. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Even cursing is a form of violence. It ain't a form of physical violence, it's a form of verbal violence. So sometimes when we get in relationships with girls, sometimes we feel like we can, we can try to control them, right? We tend to think sometimes that because we're a man that we dominate the relationship and that she should do what we tell her to do. That's a form of toxic masculinity. You're not calling her out her name. You're not hitting her physically. But if you expect her to do whatever you tell, whatever you tell her to do, without question, that's a form of toxic masculinity. That's wrong. What do you think about that? How would you feel if somebody expected you to do everything you, they wanted you with, they wanted you to do without question, unless it's your parents' support? Were you ever in a situation like that? Okay, again, somewhere. Now, why should she? Well, well, why should she do it? Because you say so. Why do you think she should do that? Because I'm her man. She, because you're her man? Is it vice versa? Do you do what she tells you to do? Yeah. You do whatever she tells you to do? Oh, okay, so it's equality. Yeah. Oh, so you're not being a sexy. You're basically saying she'll do whatever I tell her to do and then I'll do whatever she tells me to do. Yeah. Within reason. You're not trying to coerce her or anything. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What if you don't want to do it? <laughs> so, but that kind of... Well, how, well, how, now how do you think a girl going to feel in a relationship when she feel like she want, when she feels that she needs to do whatever you tell her to do? How do you think that she going to fit? Huh? Committed? No, commanding. Commanding? Do you think that's what a woman should be doing? No. Yeah. yeah? You think she should be doing what you tell her to do? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because what? She has to do something good. She has to do something good. Yes. Yes. Hmm? She what? <laughs> if you tell her to do something, she should do it, right? Why? Because you're saying something. Because you're saying something. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now, why should she. Why should she do it because you say so? Why do you think she should do that? Because I'm her man. Because you're her man? Is it vice versa? Do you do what she tell you to do? Yeah. You do whatever she tell you to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so it's equality. Yeah. Oh, so you're not being a sexist. You're basically saying she'll do whatever I tell her to do and then I'll do whatever she tell me to do. Yeah. Within reason. You're not trying to coerce her or anything. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What if you don't want to do it? So, but that contradicts the whole idea that you do what she tells you to do when she wants you to do. How do you how do you handle that? If I don't want to do it, I gotta do it. I guess. No, I'm asking not what you guess, but what you actually do. If I don't want to do it. Yeah. You see the problem with that? I'm, I'm noticing some a little bit of discomfort in that whole idea right here. But just give us some thought, though. Mm -hmm. Just give us some thought. How many of y'all Christians go to church on Sunday? I'm Christian. You don't in the book, okay? So. Because my dad was. Yeah. So how does the Bible say that men should be treating women? You you Muslim? That's great. So. Go ahead, go ahead. You had your hand up? Go ahead. How the Bible say, how the Bible say, is, is, is men supposed to be the head of the family? You said no first. Why, why you say no? I said no first. Huh? You don't really know? Why not? The Bible says men supposed to be the head of the family. You believe that? Okay, he's supposed to be the head of the family. Is he supposed to have dominion over his wife? No. That's what it's saying in the Bible though, right? So if men 
We live in a society that say that men are supposed to take charge over their women. We live in a society that say that men are supposed to bring in all the money. We supposed to control the household. She's supposed to do what we say. She clean, we go out and work. She take care of the kids, she cook, when we come back, plate on the table, my food better be hot, that's it. We live in a patriarchal society. So that's what society says that men are supposed to be basically served by women. That way of thinking has led to a lot of women being hurt. Women like our mothers, women like our sisters, looking at women like our grandmothers, right? Because sometimes when we think like that, we don't give women the kind of respect that they actually deserve. You want, does that make sense? So when we, when we get in a situation with a woman, we want to be more equal with her. We want to do like the brother said, we want to make things equal and we don't want to have these thoughts about masculinity, about how we think that men are supposed to be better than women. So now let me say this, right? So now I'm, I'm like 40 years old, right? I'm like 40, so you know, a lot of my friends, you know, you know, when I was younger, some of them made mistakes, right? A lot of couple of friends that went to jail when they were young, and then they came out in like their 30s and stuff, right? They didn't get a high school diploma, they didn't go to college, you know what I mean? So when they came out of jail, they couldn't get the $30 an hour job. You know what I'm saying? They had to end up with the $7 an hour job. But their girl got the $30 an hour job. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, in that situation, right? The girl comes home one day and says, yo, I gotta work overtime. You need to quit your $7 an hour. I'm making 30. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this money. You need to go ahead and get the kids off the bus. You need to cook, you need to wash some clothes, you need to have my plate ready when I come home. Cause I'm making $30 an hour. How does that work? And no, and what I'm telling you, I'm telling you real life, this is serious. A lot of my friends are like that now. And unfortunately, you know, we live in a society where men are supposed to make more money, bring home the bread, take care of the girl, take care of the kid. But in the event that you can't do that and she makes more bread than you, what you gonna do? This, wait, wait, wait. Does that make you less of a man? What, 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 why not? Huh? How you got more strength then? We you talk physically? Come on. <laughs> it seems like it makes them uncomfortable though. Yeah, it only makes you say, say that again, brother? Yeah. It only makes you less of a man if you think you're less than a man. Cause you know at the end of the day, what is it? What, what's really a man about? What, what's, what really makes you man? You take care of your family. You take care of your family. By any means necessary. You take care of your family. So even if that means taking a back seat sometimes and not filling in this role that people say is a man, is your family eating? That's what matters. How do you make it work? with your partner, how do you make it work? And sometimes, you're not gonna be what society says the man is. Are you willing to accept that? I just wanna highlight a point, like, cause you mentioned about some of your friends being formerly incarcerated. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm formerly incarcerated, mm -hmm. I served time in prison, mm -hmm. and uh, I was married in prison. And for years, my wife took care of me, mm -hmm. financially. I didn't have a problem with it then. Mm -hmm. but we need that wasn't the dy dynamic that we had. I needed it. When I came home, I was, you know, I was fortunate while in prison to go to college. So I achieved my master's in college. So I wasn't one of those brothers who came home with a seven dollar job, mm -hmm. dollar job an hour. Mm -hmm. I was able to earn more than she was earning. Mm -hmm. But it never changed the dynamics of the relationship. 
You know what I'm saying? It just put me in a position where I can add to the relationship more. But I never changed what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? When in terms of like, when I came home, I cooked, I cleaned, but that, well, that's who I am. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I feel like that's what, that's what being a well-rounded man is. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Being well-rounded. You know what I'm saying? Know how to take care of yourself. Cook, clean for yourself. Clean up yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm perfectly fine as a man doing those things like right? for my wife and for myself more important. Being well-rounded actually is being able to have both feminine and masculine qualities and able to balance them joints out. How many y'all think being um men don't cry? Y'all front. Y'all lying, right? Men cry? Men don't cry. Men don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you cry, young brother? All right. So you boys and men cry. 